Hey everybody, this is Travis, your manufactured home nerd, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Grove by Franklin. Now, if you pull up the Grove you're online, you'll see that it's normally about six feet shorter than this one. We made it a 32 by 72 instead of a 32 by 66. It is a four bedroom, two bath house. One of the great things about this house is that it is a modular, so that means it's built to meet and exceed local site built standards. Um, you'll see some features here in the house that are, are kind of, you know, just standard, but also some stuff that has been upgraded and it's a little bit nicer. Uh, one of the first things I want to point out on the front is this dual tone vinyl siding. They got the vinyl board and bat look up top, and then they got the, the gray horizontal vinyl there at the lower end. And you'll see there's no shutters on here either, but we also did like a cedar shake right there inside the door area <clears throat> and so when you're looking at this house there are different options when it comes to the siding of course you can do something more like the woodland right here with a nice brick look shutters a lot of windows they got the clay colored windows but on this one we have the white windows and and you just got a little bit of different options of course you can also do a taller roof one of the nice little things also on this house you got a water faucet right there you got a plug in on the front over here and then of course on the back side you also have two exterior outlets and another water faucet just nice little features so if you want to wash the car water the plants or just have a stereo plugged in outside Christmas lights all those different things nice little features to help it make it easier on you now when you first walk in it is an open floor plan as you see here we're coming into the living room there are different options when you're setting up this living room here. We could put that fireplace in the corner, or you don't have to get one of at all. We have about five or six different brick looks, as well as shiplap looks you can do, as well as built-in entertainment centers y'all have seen in the Decatur and Brantley with the shelves on the side. It's a nice little open area. And, of course, I know a lot of y'all don't like that carpet, so that is an option. You can do this luxury vinyl plank that is tongue and groove instead. Make it nice and smooth easy to sweep and clean up this is a wood burning fireplace but you have options for gas as well as electric and one of my little favorite things about franklin right here you see that little hdmi outlet plug in that so you put your tv up there but instead of having wires showing and your receiver showing everywhere they have a little corner over here where that little coax cable where you can plug your receiver in plug it the HDMI cord directly in the wall. Now you don't have cords hanging everywhere where people can see. And it keeps everything kind of out of the way. Coming over here off the living room is the kitchen and dining room. Now we've had some folks say they don't really like the shape of this island. Some people absolutely love it. Kind of makes me think of a dealer table at the casino. But we do have the option of doing the standard rectangle. And you can kind of choose your size. Now this house does have wood doors and cabinets with soft clothes so your kids can't be slamming them. Little pantry section there. If you notice there's not an actual pantry in this house so we can add one right over there in the corner. Over the, there we could even stretch the house a little bit further and make sure you have what you need. Also got the smooth top stove with a built-in microwave. And as y'all seen in a lot of the Franklin homes, they have different hood options, so you don't have to put the microwave there. You could even put it over where that wall stack is. Now, this one is not soft clothes. It's a little lazy Susan. One of my little favorite features in this house. But it is not one of the, your soft closed doors. And then you got the 60-40 stainless steel split sink. Gives you a little bit bigger section there for the gumbo pot, whichever you like, but you still do have this divider. And you have the detachable sprayer with a large window above to be able to look out in the backyard as you go and as always we're going to have them shut off valves underneath the sink make sure you if you have leaks or anything you don't have to worry about them these are lg appliances in this house and they have different appliance options you can do the black the stainless steel all that and it is a pretty good large dining room area too now if you see here I do love these light fixtures, but they have several different options when it comes to light fixtures. And you can check those out on their website. 
Same with the chandelier. Normally what you're going to do is there's going to be different packages you can choose from that let you kind of customize this house. And it's one of the great residential facts about Franklin is they let you customize it, make it yours, and they give you a, quite a few options to choose. Now coming down this hallway, we're going into the guest bedroom sections. This is a four bedroom, two bath, like I said. It's a bedroom two. We don't have a bed in here, but you easily have size for a queen size bed as well as a dresser and even maybe a desk. A lot of plug-ins on the walls, so you don't have to worry about charging your phone or setting it up, how you're gonna set it up. And then you got two large windows. Those are very tall. This is nine foot ceilings in here as well. That makes it feel very spacious. I do love these cordless blinds. If I wanna adjust them, all I gotta do is lift up and it's adjusted. Don't have cords I can trip over, cats can chew on. I want to adjust it back down all I do is pull it and there you go now this closet is a large walk-in closet full of supplies right now but it does have the wooden shelf options and you could even do some double shelves if you like so you can hang pants and shirts so that's bedroom two let's go check out bedroom three it's gonna be a little loud in here because you got a window unit in here we have two in this house and both of those little 5,000 BTUs pull this whole home down made it so it's bearable during the summer it's another good sized room. Closet's not as big, but it is pretty decent. You could definitely fit all your kids' clothes in there. Or in the case of my house, they wouldn't be hung, they'd be on the floor. But hey, a little space for a desk. Also, I didn't point out the vents are in the ceiling. And they do have the three inch crown molding throughout, painted sheetrock throughout. But you can do a larger crown molding. On Fortunately, it is only painted sheetrock that's available in this house, and so that makes it pretty nice. Now, over here is bedroom four. It's full of supplies, too. It's got another walk in closet. This one, I think, might actually be the bigger room. Before we get over to the guest bathroom, I'll show you a little storage closet, just an extra linen closet. Or you can make it a coat closet if you want. I've had some people want to give that closet space to the other closets and we can have room for a desk out here in the hallway. Over here, that's how customizable we can. Move walls and do what you like also with Franklin. Now the mirrors are in a closet somewhere around here, but you can see the square ceramic sinks. You see that it's a metal faucet, drawer stack, and two cabinets under both sinks. Got the elongated toilet. And one of the neat features, well, I do love these blinds, but before we talk about that neat feature of this house, I like these blinds. Nice little decorative feature, nice little window. It gives you privacy, but you can also let in natural light or air it out. Okay, that neat feature I was talking about on this house is that this guest bathroom has its own tub and its own shower. Normally, you're going to have the tub-shower combo. This gives you a bigger tub where they can soak. Have plenty of room for shampoo bottles whatever around there and still have their own shower as well because you know you have some of those kids that prefer showers and some prefer um, baths but they don't like those curtains and stuff like that makes it a lot easier for them to be happier of course this being a modular you have the full-size breaker box here's your mod dad sheet so that's kind of you're gonna see a data sheet for HUD or modular in all the homes this is kind of like the birth certificate. It shows you when it was built and different features about the house. In this laundry room, we did expand this house. If you look at the other grove, this is kind of a hallway here and it's much shorter. Your utility room is much smaller. We wanted to make it not so much of a waste of space and give you more, more room. So over here, you got your washer and dryer next to your exit door. I do love that recessed dryer vent there makes it so you can push your dryer all the way back and you do have the cabinets up above it right here you have your AC and water heater right next to it but then you also have this really nice built-in so you can use a folding table clean fish wash dogs whatever you like over here and you still have space for a freezer now looking right here that is just a solid panel. That's if you were going to do a freezer. If you don't want a freezer there, or if you still want, we can do drawers there. So it's not so much of a wasted corner or wasted storage. So there's different options there for you as well. Now, 
this house is not as upgraded in the master suite as is available. It's one of the reasons we're able to control the price on this house a little bit because we didn't make as many changes. But there are definitely options that you can do to expand the bathroom or make it huge. A lot of people don't need the big showers and stuff like that. We'll see them in just a second. Of course, there is a ceiling fan in the master bedroom. We did can lighting also so that you can have that extra light. See your extra air return. And you have two AC vents in here. Make sure you keep your bedroom cool. And this is a huge king size canopy bed. You got a little bureau over there. You definitely have room for nightstands on either side. Room for another chest of drawers and another one if you like. So there's definitely a lot of space. Now coming into this master bathroom here, you see that you have a ton of counter space, a ton of storage space as well. You got one of these nice little cabinet stacks here, adjustable shelving, whether you want to store supplies, towels, whatever in here. Of course, this is soft close as well. And then you also have the rolled edge countertops. So you know you're going to get water on the counter in here. This helps minimize the amount of water. Actually, it makes it so you don't get water down behind your cabinets, and that's really nice. And you see the large six-foot tub. I'm a six-foot one man, and I can easily fit in this tub and be comfortable so knees not bent and that is a really nice feature another large window there and over here we got your walk-in closet of course you can double hang shelves if you like that is always an option but it is a huge closet definitely room for most people to close and a private water closet over here with that elongated toilet, nobody likes those little round toilets anymore. And you also have the option of putting cabinets in above the toilet or shelving above the toilet for more storage if you like. And right over here, instead of the big giant showers, you've got a 60 inch tile shower. Now I do love this pebble rock basin. It's not a walk-in shower because you do have a door. But I love that pebble inlay. Drains in the middle so you're not standing right on it while you're taking a shower. You have this handle here for the rain shower maker the little shampoo cubby and then you have a little bench seating with the handheld now this white subway tile is one of the prettier options in my opinion but they do have quite a few different tile options when it comes to the showers now if you have questions about manufactured versus modular what the difference is you can always reach out Hit the comment button. I'd love to hear your questions. I'll give you the best answer I can or find an expert that knows the answer. Of course, also, if you'd like to buy a home, I'd love to help you there too. Uh, but give me a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button because I get more that come out every week, at least two normally. So I'd love to have you watch with me. And thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day.